The big winner last week, Taylor Swift, whose new album accounted for one in four album sales in the U.S., selling over a million copies in a single week, the only album released this year to hit this milestone. Taylor's also becoming an omni-channel retailer. She's offering CDs at Target that have three songs not available anywhere else, and is also embracing social media to retweet pictures of fans who are buying her album. A big loser last week, cable television. Nearly every major entertainment outlet has suffered double-digit ratings decline so far this year. Despite defying gravity over the last decade with increasing rates in the face of declining viewership, it looks like TV may be getting its turn at the woodshed. Upfront sales down 6% this year, and digital advertising is looking to surpass TV advertising by 2016. It looks like digital is finally starting to penetrate the impenetrable television. Uh, some winners and losers from our Digital IQ Specialty Retail Index, Abercrombie & Fitch and Aeropostale, who both have hit rough times of late but are looking to digital to get them out of this mess. Uh, Aeropostale has partnered with YouTube phenomena Bethany Moda, and Abercrombie's best-in-class store locator will likely drive traffic into their stores. Big winner, Domino's, who now has a larger IT department than a marketing or food research department, and no argument there for anyone who actually eats this stuff. You can track the progress of your pizza from oven to doorstep, and they've partnered with Ford such that you can order a pizza while driving through their sync technology. In 2014, Q3 sales were up 7.7% versus Pizza Hut, which declined 2%. It's probably not the pizza, it's probably the technology and innovative marketing. Last week's biggest winner, Alibaba, whose manufactured holiday singles day held on 1111 or 1111 registered $9 billion in sales in the first 24 hours. To give you a sense of the scale, the U.S. consumers spent $3 billion on Black Friday and Cyber Monday combined in the U.S. We may be entering an era where the centers or the epicenter of innovation in digital move from California to China. We'll see you next week.